In this video, I'll show you guys how to fix the enabled to connect to work that has been bugging us for a long long time now. Finally, right? Alright, so this video is inspired by this vlog that I found online. Uh, the link will be uh, shared in the description below, so feel free to visit this website. Alright, so all right, so the first fix is to re-add your friends. So let me open Minecraft real quick. So my Minecraft is now open. The logic behind this is that when you make a world, uh, like this one for example you would see in the multiplayer tab that uh, there is this button here the microsoft account settings you can uh, set it to invite only friends only or friends of friends so if you set it up like let's say friends only you have to make sure that uh, you're friend with the person that is trying to join your server so um, if the microsoft server doesn't recognize that what you can do is you can uh, remove that friend and then add him as a friend again. All right. So for the second step is um, you just have to relaunch your Minecraft world. So if you're hosting a server, uh, let's try this one, for example. All right. So if you're hosting your world and for some reason your friends couldn't join your, your world, all you have to do is just close it, just save and quit and simply open the world again. This fix has actually been mentioned from a previous video, so it sometimes works, it sometimes doesn't. It wouldn't hurt to try it, right? Let's move on to step number three. All right, so for the fix number three, this applies to all um, PC users like uh, what I'm using right now. All you have to do is just go here to search and then type firewall and then choose this uh, allow an app through Windows firewall. Once you're here, you just have to look for Java. Let's go the Java W. Just make sure that all of them are checked. If they're not checked, all you have to do is just click on the uh, the text, and then go to change settings, and then you can already uncheck it or check it. Let's move on to fix number four. Okay, so for the fix number four, all you have to do is just run this driver easy program. What it does is it will make sure that all of your drivers in your PC is up to date. So from this um, from this link that I shared earlier, you can just click on this button that says download and it should bring you here and download the file and go ahead and open the file to run the setup. Once you're done, it's simple. Just finish the setup, run the uh, program and it will detect if you have any outdated drivers and automatically update it for you. Let's move on to fix number five. All right, so first, Fix number five, you just have to go to the Xbox official website. You just have to go to this um, step five here and then click on this link. And it should bring you to the uh, proper settings page. Make sure you just log in here, sign in. Once you're here, you just have to go to Xbox series, this part here. And then look for you can join multiplayer games. Make sure that it is set to allow and then hit on submit most of the time this would be disabled if your account is under age like it's not on the legal age of 18 you have to make sure that that one is turned on also they automatically disable uh, chat there so you can also enable it here i believe it's going to be in the privacy yeah this one so others can communicate with voice text or invites so make sure this one is going to be on everyone so if you join a server and they try to ch uh, chat you you'll be able to see their chat even if you're not friends let's move on to the next step all right for the fix number six all you have to do is just disable your antivirus if you're using like the ava security whatever antivirus that you have in my case i don't really have an antivirus here but i do have the windows security let me open that here real quick. So I can go ahead and disable this if I want to by going to virus and threat protection. And then I can do the manage settings. And I can just turn this off. If this one is uh, blocking the Minecraft for, for some reason. You can just turn it off. But in most cases, it doesn't really affect the uh, connection. But sometimes it works so you can turn it off and see if that will fix the issue in my case it doesn't really disable that so i'll just leave it turned on all right for the final step guys this is the one that you've been waiting for this is the best fix that will resolve 100 percent of the issue and thank you so much for reaching this part of the video if you have reached this part of the video please like the video subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because this is the solution that you've been looking for all right so we're going to be using a vpn in uh, my case uh, i'm going to be switching my screen to the mobile device 
since uh, most of this um, issue usually happens on mobile devices so let's switch to my uh, mobile devices screen all right guys so we are now on my android device uh, what usually happens is that players would turn off their wi-fi and uh, turn on mobile data because they don't probably don't have a wired connection available like wi-fi so they just rely on their mobile data to be able to play minecraft so first off what you need to do here is go to your phone settings go to profile and make sure that this use cellular data is turned on for this one other tutorials would ask you to put it on on with wi-fi or cellular data but that, that doesn't really affect your connection or your ability to be able to connect to Minecraft worlds. So in my case, I'll just leave it turned off and here require encrypted web sockets. I'm not sure what's that for, but it's not really necessary. For the only allowed trusted skins, I suggest you turn it off. So just in case your friends have a custom skin, you'll be able to see it and not just a uh, Steve skin. All right. So what I'm going to do here is use cellular data to connect to a um, alt account or to my main account in this case it's already available so i'm going to try to connect here all right so you can see i received the error the unable to connect to world the main reason why this is happening is because there are certain ports that need to be opened in order for minecraft to connect to another person and for some reason the uh, internet provider or your mobile data provider doesn't automatically turn it on so we have to use a vpn to manually turn it on now what i want you to do is go to your play store all right well uh, go to your play store and then look for vpn you can go ahead and click on rating and then choose 4.5 and above all right, the VPN that we're going to be looking for is the VPN Super Unlimited Proxy. So make sure that you download this one. And once you have it, go ahead and um, open the app. Okay, upon opening the app, what you want to do is click on Open VPN UDP. And then go ahead and hit that power button to connect. All right, just finish the ad and it should say that you're connected. There you go. Connect success and go ahead and open your Minecraft again. All right, once your Minecraft is open, go ahead and connect to your friend's world. All right, so if this thing still happens to you, this is what you want to do as a workaround. All right, so you have to make a new world or if you have an existing world, go ahead and open it. In my case, I have an existing world, so I'll just open it here. Okay, once it's open, you might want to ask your friend to invite you to his or her world. Go ahead and invite myself. There you go. And then I hit the invitation. Accept. Alright, if it still doesn't work, what you want to do is um, go to that world again. And then ask your friend to join your world. If your friend couldn't join your world, go ahead and invite him. Alright guys, so upon a lot of testings, uh, this is what I found out. It seems that there is a certain delay in the VPN for it to really work. I think the delay is around 10 minutes to 20 minutes. What you want to do while waiting for the delay to be finished is to keep joining your friend or you can go ahead and host your world, ask your friend to join. Just keep doing it until one of you are able to join each other. So if you're able to join your friend's world or if your friend is able to join your world, that will only mean that the VPN is already kicking in. As you can see here, if I try to join the friend, there would be no more issue. Just automatically happens it's just there's just going to be a delay of around 10 or 20 minutes and the good thing about this is there is no delay we're going to break a block here so as you can see there's very very minimal delay all right there he is let me punch him and yeah there you go it reacts immediately and that's pretty much it guys if you find this video helpful please consider liking and subscribing to my channel and if you have any questions feel free to use the comment section down below and yeah thank you so much for watching and have a good day Bye-bye.